From the previous video, we tackled the basic items that compose the CCTV system. We have the DVR, hard drive, cameras, cables, power supply, and monitor. Now, it is time to assemble them. Let us begin. First, install the hard drive to the DVR. Screw four slots of the hard drive. Plug both SATA cable and SATA power from the DVR to the hard drive. Plug the power supply of the DVR to turn it on. Second, plug the VGA or HDMI cable at the back of the DVR. Plug the other end of the cable to the monitor. Like I said from my previous video, if you do not want to buy any more monitors, you can always use your existing TV or old monitor since the CCTV is compatible to both. Third, plug the CCTV cables at the back of the DVR. Here you can see three types of cables being used. I will explain it to you on future videos on how to use and make them. Fourth, plug the power supply to the extension. A light indicates that the power supply is ready to use. Plug the male connector of the power supply to the female connector of the built-in cable. Fifth, plug the camera connectors on the built-in cables. I suggest placing a sealed junction box or PVC junction box when it is outside or AMCO box with blank cover when inside the house. The reason of it is both aesthetics and protection purposes. After putting all these things, your CCTV should work. A brand logo will display and will show the following setup. My example here is a Hikvision brand. Language. Here I selected English and click Apply. Resolution. Here I selected No. Old monitors usually have the resolution of 1024 by 768 However, you may select yes if your monitor is new or you are sure that the monitor accepts 1920 by 1080 resolution. Setting 1920 by 1080 resolution will achieve better display effect and maximizes your 2 megapixel camera. You will be asked to create your password and reconfirm it. Here I entered admin123 as password. Then click OK to activate the device. You should save the password into writing through paper or through your mobile device and save it for future references. Reserve email. Input your email address and click OK. Click X to exit from GUID Import Export. The purpose of this page is for resetting or upgrading the DVR firmware. Security questions. You will choose questions from the drop-down choices like your father's or mother's name, favorite movie, color, and others. For demo purposes, I entered CCTV Pinoy as the answers to the selected three security questions and click OK. Click also OK to the configuration succeeded. Set and lock pattern. This function is like the mobile setup on logging into the device. Create a pattern and release the mouse when done. Draw the pattern again to confirm and if possible, save it with your password through writing or save it to your mobile phone. Date and time setup. Usually, there is no need to update the date and time. However, if the date and time are wrong, you can manually change it then click Next. Network Setup Click Enable Date CP so that the DVR will automatically accept the IP address that the router assigns. Then click Next. Hard Disk Drive It will show the list of hard drive inserted into the device. Click in it to format the HDD. Then click Next. Camera Setup this is where you configure your IP camera if in the future you want to integrate one. Then click Next. Platform Access Click Enable under the Hikonnect. A new pop-up page will appear and write any verification code. Here I entered CCTV Pinoy to make it easier to remember. 
tick also the Hit Connect service will require internet access. Then click OK. Uncheck Stream End Code. Then click Next. Change Password. Click Finish button to end the setup. Now the DVR is all set to give you a sense of security of your property, business or home. On the next video, I will explain to you on how to access your CCTV through your mobile phone. Hope to see you in the next video. By the way, if you have a suggestion on future topics, feel free to suggest. Thank you for watching.